One of my favorite Christmas traditions is making Jamaican black cake. Now if you've never had it before, it's a really delicious rum cake. You have to start it at least a couple weeks early because you soak the fruit in lots and lots of rum and wine so that it gets nice and tipsy. The first time I ever had this was about 15 years ago when a co-worker brought it into the office. It looks like the deepest, darkest chocolate cake you've ever had, but it's so, so different. In this video, I'll show you what you need for the first step, or the soaking of the fruit. It's usually something I do on Thanksgiving weekend, but time got away from me this year. Here's the fruit I'll be using for this year's batch. I found a big bag of mixed dried fruit like golden raisins, regular raisins, and cherries and cranberries, and I'll be mixing that with some dried prunes. Now some people add things like maraschino cherries or the Christmas fruitcake mix, but I prefer to keep it pretty simple. I like to pour it out on a big platter so that I can see if there are any little wonky bits and see approximately how much jar space I'm going to need. This looks like it'll need between two or three jars. While I do have regular mason jars, I also am the type of person who washes out pickle jars. So I'll be using this one mason jar and one pickled beet jar. I'll be soaking the fruit in this bottle of Jamaican Myers rum, which is a dark rum, and then you top it off with some red wine, whatever you've got. Most recipes will call for something like port, but if you don't have it, a soft red wine will do. Just don't use anything with too many tannins or anything too oaky. Generally speaking, the ratio of wine to rum is usually two to one, but I like to do half and half. It's up to you. Pour the rum and wine mixture all the way to the top of the jar and then seal them. You can keep them in the fridge or in a cupboard. It doesn't really matter because there's so much alcohol. Next week, I'll show you how to use this to make the booziest rum cake ever. Drop me a line in the comments and let me know what you think. Have you ever had Jamaican black cake? I'd love to hear from you.